Hello everyone, I am Ritika Ohri from Management Bliss. In this video, we will see how to create filters in Jira. We will start with an introduction to filters, followed by how to create filters in Jira. Finally, we will talk about permissions related to filters in Jira. So let's begin. What are filters? A filter is basically a saved issue search. Jira provides a feature for the users to save their issue search based on different criteria so that they can be used repetitively. Filters can be used for normal searches, to create dashboards, for creating project boards, for planning, data pooling, and many other activities involved within the project. I find filters the most useful feature in Jira. If you have been using Excel sometime in your life, it is the same kind of data filtering in Jira. Let us now look into an example. Let's say I have around 50 issues in a project and out of those, only 3 were created by a team member named A. Now he wants to see the issues reported by him. One option for him is to go over all the 50 issues and find out what 3 were created by him. Another option for him is to create a filter in Jira and get those three issues quickly. The query for such a filter could be project equals to your project name and reporter equals to A. This query will give you all the issues created by person A within the project you are working on. Now I am heading towards Jira for demonstration of creating filters in Jira. Now I am into my project. TES new project and I will be creating a filter for this project. On the top menu, we can find filters. Click on view all filters. If you want to create a filter, on the right hand side, we can see a create filter button. Just click on it. So I would like to create a filter from my project, TES new project. So I will be typing my project name and I would like to create a filter for only the issues which are in progress. So let us go ahead and give it a status as criteria. Now I will be searching for it. As we can see, there is only one issue which is in progress for the project test new project. Till now it is showing only the search results. The filter hasn't been created yet. It won't be created until and unless I go ahead and do a save as give the filter name. I am giving it as status in progress issues and submit it. The filter has been created now. If you want, you can go ahead and see the details. Now let's see how to give permissions to your filters. Go to the edit permissions. As we can see, by default, it has been created as a private filter. Private filter means that only you or Jira admin can go ahead and access this filter. What I mean? is only you or Jira admin will be able to either use it, view it or delete it. Let's see other options. If I create it for a particular group, let's say site admins, only the people under site admins will have the right to view the filter or make changes to the filter. Next option is if I want everyone in my organization to be able to view this filter, I can go ahead and click my organization. Currently, it is showing me for my account, but if Jira has been configured for your organization, it takes the organization's account. Let's see another option that is project level. At project level, if you want to provide read and write access rights for a particular filter, you can select the project name here. Let's say I want to provide read and write access rights for all the roles within my first project, project then I can just go ahead and do an add. It has provided the access rights to all the different roles in my first project. Now let's go ahead and save it. Let us now see how you can search for a particular filter among all the different filters in Jira. Again, go ahead and click filters. Go to view all filters. Here in the search field, we can just mention the name of our filter and it will show the particular filter with the same name. Apart from that, if I want to see any particular filter associated with the project, I can go ahead and select the name of the project. And now it shows me the particular filters associated with my first project. Before winding up, let us also look into how to delete filters. To delete the filter, click on the three dots on the row associated with the particular filter. Here, select delete option. 
Jira gives you a warning that are you sure you want to delete this filter? If yes, then just go ahead and click on the delete button. And now your filter has been deleted. Well, that was all in this video. If you have any questions or you want to share something, please do write in the comment section. If you like the video, please press like. Do subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching the video. Bye for now.